Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor, and today I'm going to show you an asset which should be included in Unity's editor. And this one's called the Unity History Window. So it includes features like clicking on an asset and getting selection history. You can set favorites for the type of assets that you always want to access in nice little pullout drawers. And it is actively supported and you can get it on GitHub for absolutely free. And I'll show you how to use it and install it today. And do comment down below if you have any awesome editor extensions, which you found, which are really helpful because I'd love to check them out. Be sure to check out my Patreon to get over 225 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. And do check all the links below because I created a video on the quick start bundle yesterday and I did create a massive input system tutorial too that you can check out. So first of all, you can navigate to ACOP's Unity History window. It comes with a full page with all installation instructions. And what I recommend is you grab the URL here, it starts at HTTPS and ends at 1.1.13. If you copy that out, we're going to install that in Unity. You can go back up to the top and click Tags. And you can see that the newest version is 1.2.0 and you're going to need that number just to put into that URL. If we go back into Unity, go to Window, Package Manager, and if you go to the little plus in the top corner and you can go Add Package by Git URL, we'll paste that URL in. But instead of it being 1.1.3, we'll put it as 1.2.0. If it doesn't work, you can add the assets from the GitHub store by downloading the package. And you can see it's installed version 1.2.0. Now I've already got it in this scene. As you can see here, I've got favorites and I've got history. Now, if I don't, I can go to window game Zerk, and I can add favorites or I can add selection history and you will get a pop out with the selection history. You can click things in the project panel. So if there's folders you ever need to go into or even things that are inside folders that you need to access regularly, then you can left click and it will go to open that folder so you can nicely find it. Or you can find stuff from the hierarchy, say I always use the FPS controller and I want to use that all the time or I need to access my terrain or anything to do with the gameplay or a particular object. These all get added and you can press, click on them and they open them all out really nicely and easily to use. Now let's say we go to window again, game zerk and choose favorites. We can actually specify our favorites. So you see this little plus? Next to it, you could just add it. So say I always want to access the FPS controller. I could just click a plus. I can dock this anywhere I want, regular like a Unity UI. So there's my favorites. And rather than me having to navigate to the hierarchy each time, there might be a few assets I always need. So I can click on that, I can always find it. Or you can grab the item from the project panel, add it to your favorites. And you can see there, I can select the doors and animations and always go back to a fold that I want. I quite like docking these together by just throwing them around there and keeping my favorites at the top. And let's say you're using the asset and you're selecting things and they're, they're getting missed out in the selection history and they're not filling down this entire page. You can click the three dots at the top and go to open preferences. These will actually be in edit preferences and it's just at the bottom of preferences called selection history. And then you can set selection history to a bigger amount like 20. So you can add more. You can auto remove the selection history if you destroy the object, auto remove if it's unloaded. You can allow duplicated entries if you really want, show or hide the pin favorite. You can order the last selected first and a few other great options. And if you do click the three arrows again, you can do some quick options, which are hide hierarchy view objects. So it won't show any objects from the hierarchy if you don't want to, hide the favorite button or do anything with the UI toolkit. So as you can see, I can start adding more into my list here. Now, I think it's a really useful addition to the Unity editor that you can check out and use in your own projects. I'll also add this selection history from Stagart Creations in the description. It's done by a different developer and doesn't have the favorites tab. But if you have any issues with the one that I've just shown you, this can give you similar functionality without the favoriting, which I think is really useful. Do be sure to throw a like on this video because it really helps. And do let me know if you have any interesting Unity tools that do something similar or anything that you've found which could be really interesting for others because I'd love to check it out. So do be sure to come and check out my Patreon to get access to over 225 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Do be sure to check out all the links in the description for all the best sales, savings, and all my tutorials that I've made recently. And do be sure to check out my assets on the Unity Asset Store along with massive savings on my website. Big thank you to all my patrons, massive thank you to Peter Steiner, and everybody else who comes to watch the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.